Hi, uh, this is Jeffrey Paul Ross for Epic Guitar Instruction. Uh, we're continuing on in our series of uh, beginning uh, country music strums. We're going to be working on uh, simple strumming patterns and alternating bass patterns, and we're going to be using the old Hank Williams tune, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. And uh, the song is a waltz, you know, three, four time. It's in the key of D. And uh, my usual disclaimer is I am not a singer. So, <laughs> but we need, I need to do this to get through the song and show you where we are in the song. So, um, so once again, we're in, in the key of D. And I'm going to start out with the alternating bass, and then I'll show you how to do the simple strum. Uh, first, I'll show you the chords that we're using. Uh, and lonesome whipper, sounds too blue to cry. Now that's a D. Uh, then we're gonna be using this little D7 triad. And then we're gonna do a G. Midnight train is wine and low. I'm so lonesome. I could cry and that's a when my train is winding low back to D I'm so lonesome A I could cry then we'll do an A turnaround so and that's the whole song because there's no choruses it's just verses so now what I'm going to be doing uh this is called the uh, alter, alternating bass technique. And what I'm going to be doing is hitting an open D string. And then I'm going to be plucking. I'm going to be plucking these strings twice because that's the waltz. You know, one, one beat with the open D, two beats with the chords. And I'm using my fingers today, and I'm kind of brushing upward like that. And I'm just plucking the notes of the D chord. Yeah. E string, B string, G string, D string. So. Okay. And then I'm hitting an open A just once. And then strumming the same chord again. So now we're going to go to the G chord. And what I like to do on the G chord is I'll, I'll hit that, that low G note there. Uh, you know, you're making the G chord just like that. But you hit that note first. So after the little seven chord, and usually in a country song or a blues song, do like we're in the key of D and you play the D chord and then you hit a seventh that sets up what we call going to the four chord which in this uh, key would be G and so now we're gonna hit the G uh, we're gonna hit the low note once and then just brush up on on the, the strings and here, you don't have to be so... Um, exact. Yeah, you don't have to be so exact because you're forming the G chord and all these strings in the middle are part of the G chord. So you, you can just hit... Uh, and it's the same pattern as here, only you just have a wider playing field, so... So you're gonna go boom, cha, cha. And then the second one, I like to do this little, you know, we call it a hammer on. But once again, it's the note 
that you're forming, uh, it's the note that you're hitting when you're forming the, the G chord. So now if, if doing that little hammer on is a little tough for you at first, just, just hit the note. So I'm hitting the low note and then the chord twice because it's a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's for the G chord. Then it goes back to the D chord. So let's take it up to there. Hear that lonesome whippoorwill. He sounds too blue to fly. That midnight train is whining low. I'm so lonesome. Okay, now we're going to go to A. I, I'm so lonesome, I write on the word I could cry, then hit an A again, we call that a turnaround, that just kind of just turns it back around and back into the verse, so, that train is wide and low, I'm so lonesome, I, and we're going to hit the open A, And then two. Now here, we're just going to concentrate on the notes from the B string up to the A string, or or down to the A string if you're talking about the, the pitch. But so, but that's your playing field right there. This is you. You leave the two outer E strings alone. And I believe you just do that once. Boom. I'm so lonesome, I could cry. I'm so lonesome, I could cry. Okay, so that is basically the song. Now let's try it with a pick and just a regular strumming pattern. So once again, it's a waltz. One, two, I'm doing like a little skip, you can hear it. Hear that little da da. Again, it's a waltz. Boom, cha, cha, boom, cha, cha. We broke down the strumming pattern for this song, but if you would like to learn more, maybe more in depth strumming and like the alternating bass note strum thing, uh, just click on the link below and we'll send you a free lesson and ebook that goes into great detail about country strumming. Just click on that link and we'll send it all to you for free. And that's basically it. So uh, practice it both ways. Um, it's uh, This is uh, a very nice... Yeah, that's a very nice uh, accompaniment to a human voice. So if you can master that, you're doing all right. Hey, do us a favor. Hit the thumbs up or the like button. Or if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. And uh, we would love it if you would leave a comment. Uh, let us know how we're doing. Let us know what we could change or what we could add. Uh, if there's a, a particular song or a particular style that you would uh, be interested in learning, let us know and we'll see what we can do. So once again, this has been Jeffrey Paul Ross for Epic Guitar Instruction.